Let's dive into the wild world of social media comments, whether that's Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube, wherever you decide to put your creative self. It's a place where love and hate collide, and it's about time that we talk about how to navigate this digital minefield. You know what I'm talking about. One minute you're getting a flood of love, and the next you're dodging a barrage of hate. Social media can be like playing a game of hot potato with your emotions. But hey, let's not get too down. There are ways to keep your cool and make sure your comment section is a place of positivity. So let's break it down. I suppose we can't really talk about this without talking about the not so fun part first, those negative comments. We've all been there, right? Someone says something that just rubs you the wrong way. But here's the thing, you can't control what others say, but you can control how you react. So here's my advice on dealing with the haters. Don't feed the trolls. If someone's being negative just for the sake of it, don't engage. It's giving them that candy. They'll just keep on coming back for more. Before you respond, take a break. Take a moment to cool off. Sometimes a little distance is all you need. Go away from it and come back later or the next day and you'll often find your perspective may have shifted. Use humour. If you can't beat them, make them laugh. A witty comeback can turn a negative comment into a positive moment. Seek support. If a comment really gets to you, talk to someone you trust. It's okay to not be okay. Remember, social media is a reflection of life. It has its ups and downs, but it's how we handle those downs that can really define our online experience. Now let's tackle the pesky problem of spam comments. We've all seen them, those random, often annoying, irrelevant comments that just seem to pop up out of nowhere, cluttering our comments sections. But fair not, I've got some tips to help you keep your comment section as clean and as spam free as possible. Use comment moderation. Most social media platforms have built-in tools to filter out spam, so make sure that you're using them to your advantage. If you see a spam comment, don't hesitate to report it. It keeps the community safe for everyone. The popular spam comments now are often trying to deceive people for money. It should always be encouraged to report those comments immediately, if not for your benefit, but for others too. Be selective with approvals. If you're in charge of approving comments, be choosy. Only allow comments that add value to the conversation. Educate your followers. Let your audience know that they can help by reporting spam and not engaging with it. Without a doubt, spam comments are a nuisance, but hopefully with these tips, you'll be able to keep your digital space friendly and focused on the good stuff. Now let's shift gears and talk about something a bit more personal, dealing with that self-doubt from the comments. It's something we all face, especially when we put ourselves out there on social media. You know that feeling when you read a comment and then suddenly it causes you to question everything you've done. It's tough, but here's how you can handle it. Remember your worth. Your value isn't determined by a few words on the screen that someone who doesn't know you has written. Focus on the positive. For every negative comment, there are likely to be many more positive ones. Don't let the haters overshadow the love. That one negative comment that you've got here is not gonna outweigh the hundreds, and possibly thousands of positive comments that you've got here. Just remember those positive comments. And this negative one, just get rid of it. And while not all criticism is bad, you can take constructive criticism. So if a comment offers genuine advice, consider it. It could be your opportunity for growth. And if it all gets to a, a certain low point for yourself, disconnect from social media if needed. Sometimes stepping away from it can just help clear your mind and regain perspective. Unfortunately, dealing with self-doubt is a part of the journey, but it doesn't define you. Keep creating, keep sharing, and most importantly, keep believing in yourself. Now let's address that elephant in the room, those comparison comments. It's easy to fall into the trap of comparing ourselves to others especially when scrolling through social media. But here's the thing, everyone's journey is unique and what you see online is just a highlight reel. Celebrate your own progress, focus on your achievements and growth no matter how small they may seem. Remember, what you see out there is curated content. Social media is often a showcase of the best moments of that individual. Don't forget that behind every post is a real person with real struggles. Avoid the comparison trap. It's good to be inspired and motivated by other creators, but instead of comparing, use other successes as I said, your inspiration for your own goals. Practice gratitude. Take a moment each day to appreciate what you have and where you are in life. Comparison can be a thief of joy, but by shifting your own mindset, you can turn it into a source of motivation. All right, let's give a shout out to the fans, people like you watching this. Fan comments are the best part of social media, aren't they? They're the reason why your best creators do what they do. But how do you handle all that love and attention? Engage with your fans. Take the time 
time to respond to comments. It shows that you appreciate their support and sometimes that little gesture can really make someone's day. And while you're doing that, be genuine. Fans can usually tell when you're not being authentic. Don't be afraid to show your personality. Encourage community. Create a space where fans can interact with each other and share their experiences. But and most importantly, when you're doing all that, protect your own privacy. While it's great to be open, remember to keep some things private for your own safety. Fan comments will always be a reminder of the impact that you have on others. Cherish them, but also remember to take care of yourself in the process. And on the other side of the comments, I'm talking to the people who are writing those negative comments. First off, do be kind. Remember, there's a real person behind the screen who actually has to read your message. A little kindness does go a long way. And most important, don't be that troll. We've all seen them. The ones who just want to stir the pot for no reason. Don't be that person. There are ways to voice your views without being destructive that will just allow you to keep the comment sections friendly. My tips are just stay positive. Even if you disagree, just keep it respectful. Think before you type. Once it's out there, sometimes you can't really take it back. And if someone crosses the line, don't hesitate to report them. Social media comments can be either a battleground or a community and it's up to us to choose which one we want it to be. Now I've got a little challenge for you. I want you to share your own story about social media comments in the comments section below. Did you ever have a comment that made your day or maybe one that you just wish you could take back? Remember every comment is a chance to connect so let's make it count. Share your thoughts, spread some positivity and let's keep the community and the comments section awesome and positive. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. Thanks for watching. Until the next time, keep creating, keep sharing, and most importantly, keep spreading positivity. And I'll see you in the next one.